QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022 OneNote presentation. Install QuickBooks Desktop. Get ready because we bookkeeping pros are moving up the hilltop with QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2022. Here we are in OneNote. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, you're not required to, but if would like to, we're in the icon on the left-hand side, the Topic Introduction tab, and the 1015 Install QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop tab. Also note when using OneNote, take a look at the Immersive Reader tool. Our topic introductions will also be in the text area with the same name, same number, but with transcripts, transcripts that can be translated into multiple different languages and either listened to or read in them. Close in the icon. Note that the OneNote topic introductions will have the same name and number as QuickBooks presentations. Topic introductions designed to give a short introduction to the topic, provide screenshots as well as web links when applicable, and give an introduction to general accounting topics that can complement the information as we go through the data input in the QuickBooks software. Here we're looking at the installation process. In prior presentations, we talked about different ways that you can get access to the software. Software. If you were to download the software from the website, you would then have the installer, which would look something like this on the left hand side. What you would then want to do is install the software. Once we install the software, we would expect then to see the QuickBooks icon that would give us the indication that it had then been installed. So you would just simply double click on this icon to run it, noting that you're going to need the license number and the product number to complete the installation process generally. Once you run that, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Welcome to the installation a wizard for QuickBooks Financial Software Pro and so on. And then you'll have something like this that may show up. Welcome to QuickBooks and it'll give the installation process. You need to accept the conditions. Next, that key point where you got to enter the license number and the product number. If you're using the free 30 day trial version, that would be on the website that you got the information from when you downloaded it. So you want to make sure you got that here. And or if you purchased the software, you would get that then from an email most likely that you would have received or you can get it online uh, and you can also do this if you have the subscription model from the prior year and you're trying to update it to 2022 because you paid for the subscription and now you get need the 2022 sign into the Intuit website you should be able to get access to it you might have to have them email you the license number and the product number at that point so make sure you have that and then choose your installation type I actually did have a problem installing it because I had version one. I'm assuming they will fix that. Usually I would use the express version. I had to reinstall it using the custom for some reason. I think that might be, you know, due to I did it on the first day that was available. So, so maybe there was some kind of glitch in my particular software package or whatnot. Note the installation process could take some time. QuickBooks is a fairly large program and you are downloading it to the desktop. So give it some time to run. After it is completed, you should have something that's gonna say installation complete. And then on your desktop, it'll usually put a shortcut with that little green circled icon for QuickBooks there. And that'll be the icon used to basically open the software. After that point in time, we'll then talk about how to set up basically company files in future presentations.